What's this? A collapsible feather bed for farmers? Water wings for a whale? No, believe it or not, it's an aeroplane weighing only 515 pounds. The inflatable wing is of rubber-proof fabric which is filled with air by a blower motor. When it's flat, it can be rolled into a kit bag, but inflated, it's big enough to carry the two-man fuselage with its engine and pusher air screw. Petrol tanks are fitted beneath the wing and she's ready to go. The Ministry of Supply have placed a contract for the development of these surprising little planes, which have both military and civil possibilities. They can take off in 90 yards and fly for two and a half hours without refueling. Top speed is 58 miles an hour. On the ground, the whole thing can be stowed into its own fuselage and towed behind a car. Control is very simple, and there's practically nothing that can go wrong. Mind you, that wing is tough, for the sky's no place to get a puncture. From a plane which can be towed by a car to a rocket which needs 15 trucks, the Corporal, now in service with the Royal Artillery, and publicly shown here for the first time. Protective clothing must be worn for fueling the five-ton missile from the acid and aniline tankers. The Corporal is a ground-to-ground -ground guided missile, which can deliver a nuclear warhead on targets over 50 miles away. One Corporal unit, therefore, has a greater striking power at greater ranges than the biggest concentration of artillery ever gathered in World War II. This powerful weapon alters the whole conception of the tactical use of artillery and thus the whole nature of land warfare. The Corporal is an American missile and US liaison officers are helping to introduce it into the British Army. But from now on, it will be entirely operated by Royal Artillery units, each with its own REME workshop for specialized testing. The gunners have used many strange weapons, but none more deadly than this. Thank you.